Uh, before we, uh, I, I want to just stay over in the area for a moment, uh, Brother Minister. As you know, we always have these discussions relative to international relations because I love talking to you about that. Uh, Iraq, of course, was a disaster. Never should have gone there in the first place. We know that. In fact, they'd have been better off if they had left Saddam there because we supported him in the past. And, of course, I won't get into that. But uh, where we should have gone then uh, is where we have a major problem now, and that's Afghanistan. What can be done about that? What, what do you see? We, we, they've got to send more troops The there. history of Afghanistan should be studied very carefully. The Afghan people um, fought the Russians mm -hmm. and drove them out with American help. We helped them, right. Mm -hmm. And, of course, promises were made to the Afghan people by the government of the United States which they reneged on after uh, the Afghan people drove the Russians out and the Soviet Union collapsed. Mm -hmm. For then nearly 20 years, uh, these people fought a civil war which brought the Taliban into power. The Taliban, as a very religious um, group, even extreme in their Islamic um, zeal, uh, forbade, of course, the, the poppy, uh, the growing, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the drug trade came down significantly. But I learned that from French uh, writers that the Taliban uh, came to Washington and they met with certain members of the U.S. government and they were given, uh, I would say, an offer that most could not refuse. And that was, according to these French writers, that either they would allow a pipeline to come through Afghanistan, bringing oil from north of Afghanistan, from Turkey, Menistan, uh, Kazakhstan, Russia, a pipeline, and, 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 the, and the owners of that pipeline were Unicol, of course, mm -hmm. which Dick Cheney is mm -hmm. a part of, and it would go and flow into the Persian uh, uh, Gulf, Gulf. Mm -hmm. and the Taliban were told, either you accept a carpet of gold or a carpet of bombs. Had nothing to do with Osama bin Laden. It had to do with oil. So when 9-11 took place, the thing that was wanted was to get rid of the Taliban, unite the warring tribes, bring the uh, pipeline through. And if they could get... Um, Mr. Bin Laden, uh, fine. Yeah, they sure didn't bother, did they? Dead or alive. In well, fact, you for know, a long time, you didn't even hear his name. Mentioned. Our government, you yeah. know, talks strange yeah. talk, but it was interesting to me that the Taliban leader, or the leader of Afghanistan, said to uh, our government, because it's part of our Quranic law, when an unrighteous man brings you news, look carefully into it, lest mm -hmm. you harm a people in ignorance, then be sorry for what you did. So here, uh, Osama bin Laden is accused. Mm -hmm. So the um, Omar, I think his name was, he asked President Bush, show me the proof that this man is guilty and we will uh, take him into custody and turn him over. America said, no, we're not going to do any such thing. So the war was on. And I have to respectfully say, Iraq has been a debacle. But Afghanistan will be worse. Yeah, I, I, I think and, you're right. And President-elect Barack Obama will own Afghanistan. 
And as Afghanistan was the undoing of Russia, it could very well be the final nail in the coffin of a sinking United States of America. Before we take a break, Minister Farrakhan, just quickly, uh, again in the region, Iran. Uh, how can we tell someone uh, that uh, they can or cannot have nuclear power? We have countries such as Israel that we know have nuclear weapons, and they are not signatories to the Non-Nuclear Proliferation Treaty. Iran says they are going to use their uh, nuclear power for peaceful means. Now, even if they don't, uh, they still have the right as a sovereign nation to do that, as others have done. So where is that going to go? We're saying that the Israelis are even mentioning bombing the sites and so forth. But what, where should we be in that situation? Iran, under international law, has the right to, is, uh, to um, uh, nuclear knowledge. Mm -hmm. They have the right to build nuclear facilities for energy purposes so that they wouldn't be dependent on oil. If the world says they should not have nuclear weapons, fine. They say they don't want them. Mm -hmm. But just like it was in Iraq, that we went to war on the basis of a lie. Now the lie is being fabricated again in spite of what Iran says. Is there not a monitoring system that can monitor Iran to see that she does not get into nuclear weaponry so that war will not start that will take our boys and girls into that area to die like they have died needlessly in Iraq. Minister Louis Farrakhan is our in-studio guest. I'm Cliff Kelly. This is a talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. Stay with us. We'll be back.